entry number 11345-1, 320 p.m. Thursday, June 6th. The concentration of serotonin has been increased by two milligrams and dissolved in a 0 0.8 saline solution. Mm -mm. 0.5. Correction, 0 0.5 saline. Yesterday's slight increase didn't make any difference in tissue absorption. Mm. We are optimistic that the serotonin increase will be sufficient to produce an intensified level of aggression without causing harmful side effects. Where's McConnell? This new solution proves effective in the animals. We will begin human testing immediately. Hey! Gang's all here. All right. Final phase. We hope to be able to show that aggressive behavior is triggered by fluctuations in brain chemistry as well as by fluctuations in neurotransmitters such as serotonin. Oh, spank me harder, baby. Oh. <laughs> Ethanol, estradiol, and LHRH maintained at minus 15 degrees Celsius. If we can prove Dr. Burns' theory, then we believe by manipulating the level of MAOA enzyme, which breaks down neurotransmitters, we should be able to control aggressive and hyperactive behavior. One milligram of ethanol estradiol to increase Plasma testosterone. Email for Dr. Erwin Bird. Urgent. Now what? What's going on? All right. Increase the serotonin by 25 milligrams and add 20 milligrams of the imetidine. Hello, what are you guys doing? Dr. Burns has carefully measured that. Exactly. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Breakthroughs aren't made carefully and conservatively, Daddy's little girl. Science is about taking risks and pushing boundaries. But we've been making such progress. Okay, 15 more milligrams of ethanol estradiol? You think so? I made more progress in one day of my own testing than your father's made in three goddamn years. Not that he'd know it, of course, because he never listens to me. What are you talking about? He highly values your input and expertise. Bullshit! He trusts us so much that he keeps everything under lock and key. He's so secretive, he's got to do it all himself. Because he's a paranoid, old, wimpy geek. And you know what? It's time we made some goddamn progress around here. How can you betray him? She's just as sick of your father's eye. But he is in charge of this. Not anymore. And there's nothing you can do about it now. 60 milligrams of lubidine and 10 milligrams of ethyl alcohol. 
Don't bother. I already changed the key code. Open this door. I demand that you open this door. Erwin? Erwin? Oh shit, it's reacting! Dad! Catherine? That shouldn't be happening! We checked the calculations three times! Oh shit! Catherine?
Looks like you'll be around a couple more years. Well, the missus will be disappointed. So I'm not having a heart attack, huh, Brad? That's probably just a bad case of indigestion. Hmm. But let me go check on those test results. Maybe it's just Betty sausages. Hmm. Gonna miss those. Be right back. carrying around this baby, you'd be a whole lot better off. This baby's the lifeblood of this town, and I can guarantee a couple of new inches by the end of the festival. Rumor has it Jurgen's outdone himself with this year's new brew. Mm-hmm, so I'm told. You do plan on hanging out with us small-town folk at least through the weekend, don't you? Nope, gotta go tomorrow. Hmm. Well, we're all gonna miss you, especially a certain pretty cop I know who happens to get her good looks from her daddy. I'm only four hours away. Dr. Kagan! Something's wrong. I don't know what to do. He won't talk. Slow I found down, him Mrs. Still. lying in the woods. Slow he down. just take stares. It, take it easy. Take it easy. Let's just get him on the table. Let me get out of your way. Grace, don't worry. The doctor's take care of Mikey. Everything's gonna be all right. Thanks, Mayor. I've never seen him like this. I can't get him to respond. What's wrong with him? He's in shock. I can't even get him to let go of his toy. Damn that sucker, Sam. Let's go. I got it. 25 yards, northeast. Son of a bitch. I see. Watch out, watch out. He's right there. Shoot, damn it, shoot. Take it. Corky. Hey, girl. Hey, Corky, come on, fetch. I'm lazy, dog.
Oh, I almost forgot. I got something for you. Thanks. That was, uh, that was sweet. Cool. This is the exact one I wanted. How did you know? Where did you get it? Jesse doesn't carry this one. I, I had him uh, special order that for you. It's got 256K, you got Rolodex, you got day planner. Plus an alarm, world time, map reminder, password <laughs> yes, access. Yes, yes, and, and you can backload it all on your computer. I know, this is the one I wanted. They're great. I was gonna get one for myself, but, um, you know me, I'm more of a paper and pen kind of gal. Besides, there's... Nothing like the smell of a good leather binder. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, shit. Oh, it's so easy to slip back. Sorry, Joe. You know how I feel about you. But I, I, I can't do this. It's not, it's not fair for either of us. I, I don't want to change my mind. There's just, there's just so many things that I, that I want to accomplish. Things that I'm never going to get to do in a small town. I mean, you have to go to the city, the big city, to, 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 to be a specialist, to, to be at the big hospital. And, and, I, and I'm tired of. Everybody knowing everybody else's business, and I... I know, I know. We've been through all this before, but... I wish you would change your mind and come. Just... Just come with me, please. We have been through this before. Yeah, the timing's off. Your wants and needs are... are different than mine. I'm happy here, and you're not. Besides, we're like, what, only four hours away? Yeah. Joe, you there? Joe. Yeah, Ben, go ahead. Call just came in from old man Simpson. Sounds pretty serious. Find Pat, bring him with you. Dr. Kagan's still fishing. He's not gonna be back till tomorrow. Damn. Has Brad left yet? I think he's still around. We'll find him. We need him. Be right there. I'm sure it's nothing. Glad you're still around. You just caught me. I'm leaving tomorrow. Nice to see you, Brad. Yeah, you too, bud. <laughs> so what do we got? Well, we got a call from Jimmy Ray. He was delivering groceries when he found Simpson inside. What's wrong with him? Well, he's pretty dead. What happened? I'm trying to figure that out. It seems old man Simpson was chopping wood here when something must have surprised him and attacked him. Something what? Trying to figure that out. And he struggled to make it all the way inside. What's this from? I'm trying to figure that out. Uh-huh. You know, guys, Simpson had a dog. Yeah, that's right. Corky. Hey, bud, would you? Yeah, I'll take a look. Hey, bud, watch your step. Something wanted to get inside pretty damn bad. that from? I'm not sure. Well, 
Key. Come here, girl. Got a nice big bone for you. Okay, a big juicy steak. That's my final offer. What do I think it is? I've never seen one, so... Get a hold of this. Grab this in. Jesus. I guess we're not gonna find Corky. The 2 p.m. guys. Yeah. Joe, it's me. Hey. Hey. Hey, thanks. 
this power company's got an AMPM learning disability. <laughs> Speaking. Phil, City Hospital Pharmacy. I just received an unusual anti-venin request that I think you want to know about. It's from a town in close proximity. This year's hops has a real unique aroma, flavor, and character, making the new film more lager. Jerky, jerky, jerky. But Jürgen, you're so cute, as if I really care what hops is. For me, hops. Oh, a bunny rabbit hops. This is not about beer. This is about, I know it sounds funny, it's about image, coolness, prestige. If you're not drinking Fillmore Lager, you're out. Passe, like roller skates, record players, and Rio Niti on ice. You know what I mean? No, what I know about is that this year's brew is the best it's ever been. And everyone's going to know that. Jurgi, Jurgi, whatever. This is how it works. You start with a good product. Which you have. Yeah, we use only the finest mold, rice, yeast. Exactly. You're the brewmeister. Then you need a consistent message. Like, fill more up the big time small town taste, which we will kick off at this year's festival. Jer Jurgi. Thank you. We got the bands, we got the babes, we got the boys. We got nationwide coverage. All you have to worry about is keeping the beer flowing, okay? It's going to be huge. It's not only me that's counting on this. It's out of the question. But Mayor Biddle, this is an extremely dangerous medical situation. If we have a problem here, let's solve it. Let's not blow it out of proportion. It's already out of proportion. Ben, are you telling me we can't handle one stinking snake? Until I know exactly what I'm up against, I can't answer that. Jesus, how many snakes did we shoot when we were kids? Come on. You didn't see what this thing did to Simpson. And he had an ax in his hand. Snake bites usually aren't fatal. Tell that to Simpson. Well, he probably had an allergic reaction. He was old, he had a weak heart, which would make him more affected by the hemolytic principle in the venom. And he lived alone in the middle of nowhere. Did you see the size of this fang? The venom disintegrated half his face. I saw the body, Brad. Look, a lot of people got a lot riding on the future of the brewery, including most of us in this room here. And if I cancel this festival, Fillmore Lager remains a great beer that only locals know about. And it's gonna cost this town a lot of money. I got a responsibility to see that that don't happen. Mayor, Mayor, with all due respect, people are here now. People who don't know their way around nature. City people. It's a lot of camping going on, a lot of drinking, and we don't know what this thing is capable of. Let's send them home now. I won't do that. At least let's move it somewhere safer. That's got better crowd control. What about Central Avenue? Let's make it a street festival. Yeah, then we could block off the other streets. Biddle Park has been a tradition. That's why a lot of people come here. We're talking about a snake here. A creature that eats rodents, small animals, and other snakes. <laughs> Maybe that's why the crop is so good this year. Because of a monster snake. Pardon me for interrupting. I was told I could find Dr. Kagan here. I'm Dr. Kagan. What can I do for you? Dr. Brad Kagan. I'm Brad Kagan. Who are you? I'm Dr. Erwin Burns. 
I understand that you have requested a large amount of polyvalent antivenin. You're from City Hospital. No, I'm a biochemist. And what can we do for you, Dr. Burns? Ocho! Yes! confirm the presence of these chemicals. Then we'll know for sure if it was Seth. Venom entered through a bite on the lower left calf. We also found traces of venom in his eyes, probably causing blindness prior to death. I was surprised that he was able to make it to the house. There's also two puncture marks indicating a bite behind the right ear, just under the hairline, which I had initially missed. That would account f for the hemorrhaging. So, uh, what caused the accident? My lack of people skills. Damn needle in a haystack. We need a herpetologist. I know someone. You sure it's him? Well, there's no doubt. With the sloughed skin and the chemical compounds confirm it. Oh, now that we know what we're dealing with, I think we should call City Hospital back and get the proper antivenin. I think polyvalent may be insufficient. We've got to find Seth and destroy him before he kills again. Nice. Very nice. 
Confidence. It's all about confidence. Pressure to the head. Steady. Good. Yes? Osh, you have a very important phone call. Thank you. I'll take it in my office. I gotta take this call, okay? You keep working. Don't get too cocky now and expect the unexpected. I'm coming, I'm coming. You naughty girl. Oh, come on, I wasn't away that long. Fine. More for me?
death had to be from his snake. The mayor's being really stubborn about this, and I, I think you're gonna need to just give me call. Get this. Hey, hey, guys! Whoa, slow down. Party's the other way. Nothing's going on around here. Good night. Come on. Wyatt Earp, keeper of the peace. It's a living. Sheriff told me I'd find you here. So how's it going? Oh, drunk guys I can handle. 30-foot snakes, I don't know about. Burns called in a herpetologist. A herpa what? Snake expert. Supposedly he's uh, one of the best. Should be able to help you guys out. Right, right. So you're still going. They're expecting me tomorrow. I'm already late. And who's going to administer antivenin if this thing can't be stopped? The town doctor, Pat Kagan. OK. So where is your dad, anyway? I didn't see him at the festival. I don't know. I haven't seen him since this morning. I just left a message for him on the answering machine. Look, I go on patrol in about 10 minutes. If you like, I can check in on him. Yeah, I'd appreciate that, Joe. Thanks. I got to go finish packing. Yeah, sure, Brad. Dr. Kagan? Dr. Kagan?
Look, we don't know for sure. Maybe he got away. Let's not have any false hopes here. Even if he did get away, the venom would have killed him, and we'd have found his body by now. I'm sorry. That's all I can say. I'm truly sorry. I'll shut it down now. I always want to be a pair of them snakeskin boots. From what I hear, we can open a goddamn store. Let's go kick some ass. So the still sighting was here. Mm -hmm. The two teenagers disappeared here. Mm -hmm. Simpson's place is here. And the most recent attack of, um, was here. OK. And that's all the attacks that you know about? Yeah, that we know about. Mm. Well, it's pretty clear that he's marked out his territory. That's a pretty large area, my friend. This is a pretty large snake. Dr. Burns, how did you manage to cross an African king cobra with an eastern diamondback rattlesnake? Gene splicing. Gene splicing. Interesting. Why would anyone want to combine two of the most deadly species of poisonous snakes? We wanted the most aggressive animals possible for testing. Fascinating. Foolish. So how do we get rid of it? Well, first we have to find it, of course. I want to make sure that we all know and respect exactly what we're dealing with here. Respect? Yeah. Um, you see, in order to overcome a deadly opponent, you have to learn to think like it. I hate snakes. All right. Consider, Deputy Fuller. Snakes kill in one year more people than sharks kill in 100 years. Hmm? They are responsible for more deaths than all the other dangerous animals in the world combined. Now, that is a power. You have to learn to respect just a little bit. Let's consider Ophiophagus Hanna. Oh, the African king cobra. Huh? It's venom, a tablespoon, even dried, can kill 165 people or 165,000 mice. Oh, and then there is. Viboras de Cascabeles, Spanish, or rattlesnake. Hmm? Rattlesnakes can strike at 10 feet per second. It has the most highly developed fangs of all the venomous snakes. Now, my whole point is, uh, as if nature wasn't good enough, and thanks to science, we now have here a specimen with all these beautiful traits. <laughs>
check it out. We're gonna need bigger guns. Hey, hey. Snakes pick up on vibrations in the ground, hey? So we want to make as little noise as possible. But here's the game plan. Mm. We're going to pound stakes into the ground. That's the reason for the rubber mallet. Mm. We're going to attach the razor wire to each stake very tightly with this wire. And that's the reason for the cutters and the gloves. So remember, work as quietly as you can. Look out for anything that may be moving. And um, expect the unexpected. Oh, I guess so. I'm going to see what the, how wide it is. Is that all you got? Yeah. Why? What? Don't you have some kind of modern technology to fight this thing? <laughs> These are the tools of my trade, Brad. I've been at this for over 25 years. But this is no ordinary snake. Well, the methodology for catching the snake doesn't change. Besides, I've made some modifications. Why don't we just shoot the damn thing? Sure. Let's shoot him. Be my guest. Go on, shoot him. He's that tree over there. Shoot? Come on, you want me to shoot him? I'll shoot that tree. And if you want to kill him instead of just pissing him off, you're going to have to hit him in the head. That's that rock about six inches off the ground. No, no, that's not him. There he is over there. He's that tree. Oh, he's going through the leaves, through the leaves. There he is at 10 o'clock. Okay, Go okay, him, man. okay, okay. I got the idea. You better got it. Because if you don't, you're dead. Now, you're calm right now. But you see this guy eyeball to eyeball, your adrenaline is going to kick in. You will not be calm. There's probably two people amongst us here. Okay, maybe one that maybe, maybe could get off a shot, if we get lucky and if we get a chance. Believe me, guys. The gun is not the way to go. At best, it's only a backup. Are well, you going to go up there now? Yeah. Thought I'd take a look, check some things out. I'll come with you. No, you'll stay here. What happened to never being alone in case of a bite? You know, I am qualified for that. Ah, uh, almost forgot, Doctor. Can you ride a bike? Yeah, I think so. There's an extra one in there. Why the bikes? Less vibrations, get you closer to the action. Besides, I ain't a very good runner. I'm Japanese. Japanese were not built to run. We were built to last. Go ahead, be careful. Joe, you there? Yeah, Ben, go ahead. How's it going? We're setting up camp. Brad and Hosh went to take a look around. Do you guys see anything by you? No sign of it. Where are you guys? Oh, about a mile past Canyon Creek. Gonna head over towards Jackson Farm. You guys be careful. Yeah, you too.
Tschüss. Price's pulse is going through the roof. Get a tourniquet ready. Billy. Billy, hang in there, buddy. Billy! Jesus. Shit, man. Come on, do something. Try CPR. He's dead. No, no, he can't, he can't be. If we suck the venom out, he'll be all right. He's dead, Buck. No, no, he can't be. He can't. Buck! God damn it! Can't be far. Let's go get it. What about Billy? There's nothing we can do for him now. We'll come back for him. Billy. All right, spread out. 20 feet apart. I want to get that son of a bitch. Oh, God. I don't want to die. Fuck it. Get it together. Come on. Get him. I'm gonna die, you son of a... Ah! Ah! Oh shit, we're screwed, we're screwed! Oh, 
facilement They play dead? Yeah, like a dog. Cobras would do that sometimes to lure their prey in. They're very clever. What is it? Here, hold this back. Snake shit. Huh. Oh. That's uric acid crystals, nitrogenous waste. Snake piss. Still pretty fresh. He can't be too far. What? You see something? Shh. Someone's coming. There. It's Buck. Buck! Buck! We're not going anywhere. We finally found the damn thing. Keep ready, boy. Respect it. Love it. Respect it. Love it. Maybe it knocked itself out. Guess not. Son of a... It's popped the damn tires, man! Good deduction, Sherlock. What the hell is it, man? Trying to figure that out. Maybe it left. So go check. Are you crazy, man? Almost lost my love, Jones, out there. I ain't going nowhere.
So what's in the syringe? Saltwater base with a high concentration of King Cobra pen. I thought you said a spoonful of that would kill 100 men. <laughs> yeah, it would. But I've been bitten so many times and injected myself with increased dosages over the years that... That your body's built up the antibodies to counteract the venom. Jeez, he's like a walking supply of anti-venom. Something like that. You okay? I'm all right. How many times you been bit? A few times too many. A hundred and... 67 times, to be exact. How often do you inject yourself? A couple of times a month. See, I can't let my antibodies slide. Otherwise, I gotta start all over and build them up again. My blood has saved a few lives over the years. When I kick the bucket, no one will even care about my organs. But my blood could be worth millions. So what was your worst bite? Well, none of them are exactly pleasant. But this is quite a story. I was working with a black mamba some years ago. Call him Sammy. Sammy was a pretty docile animal, but I got a little too lax in handling him one day, and uh, Sammy put his fangs in right here. They went all the way through, came out here. Luckily, I kept my head, so I milked Sammy and pulled him out of my hand without getting too much venom into the wound. You might even say we were blood brothers from then on. He even sends me a card now and then. That's amazing, Hosh. <laughs> Joe, he doesn't really send me. Hosh, I got it. I meant the story. So, uh, Hosh, you got a plan for tomorrow? Yep. <sighs> well, Enough campfire stories for tonight, huh? I think I'll go relieve Burns. I think you already had a plan. I was just kind of curious what it was. Yeah, I think he kind of missed that point. You do think he has a plan, don't you? Oh, yeah, I'm sure he does. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, he's... Yeah, he's... <laughs> That looks good to me. You think we need more? That should do it. Ben, this is Joe. Come in. Ben, this is Joe. Come in. Bud, are you guys there? I'm really worried about them. They can take care of themselves. I'm sure they're OK. Good. Wow, that's pretty strong. Yeah. So now what? Well, once we finish covering it up, we wait. How is this supposed to work again? The vibrations from the thumper box will attract Seth to the area. Hopefully. Oh, he'll come. I designed that box myself. It always works. And when he sees the gourmet meal that we have catered for him, lunchtime begins. And then, while he's digesting and becomes a little sluggish, the show begins. I'll wrangle him into the tube. You guys will seal the tube after he's cleared, of course, and you lock it in. I'll turn on the gas, and our overgrown elapid will go night-night forever. Are you certain there's enough gas in there to kill it? Absolutely. Well, what if you can't get him into the tube? 
Joe, you guys hired me for a job. Now you're all gonna have to trust me. Dr. Burns, come on, you're not gonna need that. Let's hope not. Maybe it's moved on. No, he's out there. I can feel it. How can you tell? See it? Quiet. There. Where? Shh. Jesus, listen to that. It sounds hungry. Let's hope he likes goat. Keep it down. Perfect shot! No! Stop! <laughs> what the hell is the matter with you? I had the shot! Shut up! That was not the plan! Never mind the plan! He'd be dead by now! Bullshit, you'd have missed! Not if you hadn't interfered! You screwed everything up! Your plan wasn't working! No time for this! Let's just figure out what to do! There's nothing to figure out. We gotta find him and get him in the goddamn tube before he kills us all first. Look, I had the shot. Why didn't you just stick to the plan? The plan, as far as I'm concerned, is to kill it no matter how. I had the shot, and he knows it.
Stop, stop moving, stop moving. You're gonna be okay. Set. Come on, baby. Show me something here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Stay down. Come on, Erwin. Stay with us. going in. Go for the other end. Open it up. Brad, wait and stop. Brad, come on, Brad. Joe, come on, Joe. Now would be good, Joe. I am going to die in here. 
infantry will jam them in. Go! Push! Close the vents and gas them. this. A little something I got for you. <laughs> you know, there's nothing like the smell of a good leather binder. Except for the smell of a cadmium lithium battery. I took the liberty of filling in some important dates for you. Well, you did, did you? Yeah. Wow. Looks like a busy week. It is. I called Dr. Brown, and I told him that I had been offered a better position somewhere else. I turned down the hospital job. Are you sure that's what you want? I think there's plenty of excitement right here. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. You are, but uh, that's OK. <laughs> Helicopter will pick it up late this afternoon. Thank God it's over. Yeah. Are you okay? It's all right. It's okay. Fight him till he's in his grave. 